Hey Taurus, welcome to Queen Airbnb Tarot. Today we are going to do your end of January general love reading. Now keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you all are doing well. So Taurus, when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I heard was We Belong Together by Mariah Carey. I'll leave the link to that song in the description box below so you can listen to it following the reading if you so choose to. Now, Miss Mariah Carey happens to be an Aries. So some of you guys could be dealing with an Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, in, or Venus individual, or you could have those strong placements. But overall, the message is literally just like the title. I feel like there's somebody in your life or someone who's coming into your life that you literally feel like either you or this person, you just feel like this is your person. I do feel like there's some type of turmoil, but I feel like it's like the turmoil is emotional stuff. It's something, and that's not to downplay it, but it's something that is kind of creating a wedge, right? Either this person acts noncommittal or they have some emotional stuff that they need to deal with, but it's like regardless, you're ready to fight for them and with them, or they may be feeling like that about you. At the very bottom of the deck, you have Major Arcana, the Justice card. So you could be dealing with a, a Libra. And I want it, you know, I feel like also this could be you feeling like you're breadcrumbed by somebody who has strong Libra placements in their chart also. You are Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is literally somebody who's being, you know, these people are being breadcrumbed. But I want you to notice he has a scale here. And there's, you know, scales with this Major Arcana Justice. And the fact that he's holding it, again, it very well could mean that you are dealing with someone who has strong Libra in their chart. There could be someone that you met in Libra season of 2022. Libra season is September, October. So some of you guys could be dealing with someone like that, but it just seems like there's, you know, like I said, I feel like there's a little turmoil because some of you guys could be feeling like they're not giving you their all. But you definitely feel like you should be with this person or this person feels like they should be with you. It's just, it's, some, it's something that's kind of off here. But nonetheless, I feel like there's very strong feelings and emotions associated with this connection. Again, if you are single, this is how this situation looks like it's gonna manifest. Like when you meet this person, it could very well be that this person just, you immediately can see yourself with this person long term because the justice card could also talk about justice of the peace, like marital contracts and things like that, karmic associations as well. And you guys know karmic associations are not always bad. You know, you and this person, this could be a karmic partner that comes into your life, but just immediately it feels like you guys are meant to be fated and destined to be together long term. So I do feel like for a lot of you guys, you know, the scales are getting ready to get balanced in this situation also. It's just right now, it's something that's not being seen, you know. So let's see what we get for you guys today, Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individuals. We're going to go through the deck until we get your major arcana, which is the hair font. And then we'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after. Currently at the bottom of the deck, absolutely. Nine of swords, sleepless nights, anxieties, worries, and fears. And now you just had this, um, what was it? The Six of Pentacles, and it was two people being breadcrumbs. Some of you guys can feel like your person is not giving their all to you because there's another person in the picture that you don't know about. This is the second card that you've had someone blindfolded here. So I definitely feel like some of you guys are feeling as though, you know, and see, and I said Libra, and you got, you got um, swords here. So there could definitely be a Libra in the picture or a situation that happened in Libra season that can make you question the authenticity of this connection. Some information is going to come to you, okay? You got this owl right here, and that owl is not flying away from the window, it's flying towards it. And our spirit animals talk about hidden knowledge, hidden wisdom. Somebody's name could be Mariah also. Someone's name could be Lee. First, middle, last. Name could be Lee. I'm getting that also. And I just heard Miranda. Okay. So either way it goes, like I said, some of you guys could be dealing with a situation where you feel as though, like, there's another person in the picture here. Definitely Aries energy. Every time I see individuals with red and i know all fire signs can have a reddish type of energy because that's like passion and flames and you know things like that but i always get aries so you could definitely be dealing with an aries matter of fact if you are go ahead and check out oh yeah check out the aries reading you guys popped up in there reading multiple times the queen of pentacles and the major arcana hair font popped up in their reading so go ahead and check out aries reading even if you are single you may want to go ahead and check especially if you're single you may want to check out aries reading because you may be meeting someone in aries season if you are single, okay? First, middle, last initials could be K, N, E, O, F, S, or D, okay? So let's go, yup, you got somebody coming in. You got the knight in shining armor, somebody who comes in and sweeps you off your feet, a charmer, someone who's charismatic. 
and they're coming to you with some type of emotional offer. You have the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Some of you guys could be, if you're single, could be meeting someone in Pisces season. Hmm. You got the Devil, Capricorn energy. Something significant with your situation could have happened in Capricorn season, which we literally are days away from. Something, something significant. Yep. Some of you guys could have moved on from a situation. Okay, the world card travel distance for movement. Here's your energy. So you got Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, and we are in Aquarius season, and Scorpio. You have two major arcanas, okay? So I do feel like some of you guys feel as though this person is like moving kind of funny. You know, she's traveling. The world card talks about travel distance for movement, and she's going right in the direction of the devil, and the devil is facing her. She, the devil's looking at us, but the body is facing her. It didn't come this way. It's coming this way. So some of you guys feel like, okay, uh -oh. so... I am hearing for some of you guys, you feel like you belong with this person, but there's definitely something. See, yeah, there's something hidden. She has on a mask and that's a disguise. And then you can't see his eyes, which means something is hidden. So some of you guys may be going towards a connection where there's a lot of hidden aspects with this, with this situation. But again, I just feel like somebody's going to throw caution to the wind. You see how she's just coasting and floating. Like, I don't care. I want this person. So remember I was saying karmic, karma is not always, not always bad, right? But for some of you guys, this is a karmic contract. There's like a lot of lust and passion wrapped up in it. And it's possible that you feel like this person is someone that you could be with forever. Like long term, you can see marriage with this person, but it, it could be more so like a sexual relationship more than anything for some, again, this is general. So again, let's get the hair fonts and the card that comes before and the card that comes after for Taurus, someone rising and Venus individuals. Bottom of the deck, you have the Eight of Swords stuck mentally. And see, now this is your third card with someone with a blindfold on. So I'm going to say again, some of you guys aren't seeing something about this person. And you feel like, because now I'm, what I'm hearing is like, with that we belong together, it's like, it, it's not an obsessive sounding song. You know, it doesn't sound obsessive when you really listen to lyrics. It's actually beautiful what she's saying. But for some of you guys, you don't even know. Uh oh, okay, I'm getting a couple things. We just seen a devil and the devil likes to control things. And if you notice, she has chains. So some of you guys could be with someone who wants to have complete and utter control over you. Like they don't, they want to know where you are at all times. They don't want you to be out of their sight. Okay, I'm, I'm getting it also. <clears throat> On a mental level, some of you guys may have felt like you lost yourself or like you were stuck in a situation that you can't get out of. <clears throat> and now my throat chakra is acting weird. So some of you guys in the swords are down. Sword up is just sword down. There's no swords communication and mental. So now that the swords are down and now I'm having like this throat chakra stuff going on. Some of you guys are not speaking your truth and, and you feel like you're stuck in a situation that you're not really happy in. Or it's like you feel like you're meant to be with someone, but something is keeping you bound. Something is keeping you from this person. Now, it does look like she's in, in prison. So for some of you guys, you could be dealing with someone who literally is in prison. And they may not be free for eight years or eight months or August of this year. Again, this is general, so that won't apply to everyone. But I'm just getting with this energy, like, something has somebody feeling stuck. Some of you guys can also feel like you are dealing with someone who has, like, that devil controlling type of energy also I'm getting. Okay? So let's go ahead and go through the deck. Wow, you got two major icons back to back. And then there's that nine of swords again. So you have the temperance card, Sagittarius, the star card, Aquarius, and we are in Aquarius season. So I do feel like in Aquarius season right now for a lot of you guys. Yeah, it's like a strong energy of passion. You see how she's looking at the flames. Some of you guys feel strong passion for someone. But something about it, that's why I said I felt like it was something about it that is like binding or requires you to conform in a way that you're not sure you can do or them. Again, if you're single, I definitely feel like, you know, somebody's coming in because the temper card is talking about patiently waiting for something to evolve or develop. It also talks about healing. You got two cards of healing. Star card is wish fulfillment and healing. And then the temperance talks about healing and balancing things also. Oh, yeah. Seeing out now, I'm, I'm seeing the seven of swords, liar, cheater, manipulator, sneak, conniver. Yeah, something that you don't see. Like, it may feel like, yeah, because now you have the fool card. Hmm. <laughs> So it's it's giving me the vibe that it's something about this person. Like there could be strong feelings of love, but then I say it's more so something with passion. Because she's looking at the flames versus the water, which is an emotional connection. This is like a strong, passionate connection that is keeping somebody in a position or in a relationship. Okay. So again, we want the hair font and the card that comes before and the card that comes after for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individuals. And I almost stopped if you guys seen that on the devil again and it was unintentional. So, yes, let me know for a lot of y'all is passion related. 
And even if it's not you feeling like this, this is how that person could feel like they're in love with the physical aspect, but on an emotional level, they may not have much to offer. And see, some of you guys could have been in a relationship or a situation longer than you should have been, okay? Because it took us a very long time. We're at the end of the deck before we got your card, okay? So right in front of you, yep, wow, hanging in there. Major Arcana, okay? The hangman. Some of you guys were hanging in a situation and I feel like it's all because of passion. I can't make this up. Are you guys looking at this? The Ace of Wands has always seen like a very phallic sexual energy. You guys have karmic ties. That red string of fate. You guys have karmic ties to somebody. Wow. Okay, Taurus. Nine of Cups on the outside looks like a very happy situation and relationship. But there you go with that red bastard. Something's going on. You got Pisces here. You got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. Some of you guys can be dealing with a Pisces. Or like I said, Mariah Carey is an Aries. You got Leo, Sag, Aries here. Yep, and if you notice, your major icon is going right in the direction towards the Ace of Wands. So it's passion. Some of you guys were hanging in a situation that you should have been released. The pentacles are being released. You are pentacles in a situation that you should have been released because there's strong passion, um, strong passionate chemistry there. You guys are definitely soulmates too, for sure. Okay, that red string of fate definitely talks about faded associations, faded connections. So you guys are definitely soulmates. But you know, we have many soulmates. That doesn't mean you're meant to be with this person forever. Okay, I'm just I'm just putting that out there. Bottom of the deck, yep. Page of Pentacles. This person isn't offering much, but they did come with some type of offer. And also, some of you guys could really be looking at the nature of the relationship. You see how he's eyeballing that pentacle, and you are the pentacle. Also, I'm getting something where this person may make you feel small because pages are young, youthful. They still have growing to do. And they're younger. You know, there's, their energy and status is smaller than all other cards. So I do get an energy. Okay, also I'm hearing that for some of you guys, you could be in a situation for both. You got good chemistry sexually with this person, but also financial as well. Cause, and that goes back to that eight of swords, her feeling stuck and bound. So some of you guys could feel stuck and be up. Finances, wow. Now, the, the three of Pentacles talk about establishing, building, and working together. You also see they have a contract here. Remember I was saying in the very beginning, because you had the Justice card, there's definitely something with um, karmic contracts, okay? She literally has a contract here. So this, if you see there in the church, it does look like some of you guys could feel like, you know what, I would marry you tomorrow. Let's just go to City Hall or whatever. Let's just go. I am getting that energy. Something's questionable, because look at his face. Like there's some type of concern or something there. Something's questionable. Something is questionable. Just seen a two of cups there. Yep, two of cups, not a two of swords. Uh, not, this is your fourth person who was blindfolded. I cannot make this up. So some of you guys, you know, really pray and meditate on this. Whatever resonates with you, you really need to sit with yourself with this situation because it's something. Look, look at it. Look, 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 look. <laughs> you have the two of wands reverse two of swords two plus two is four some of you guys could be a life half number four personal year four you could have been with this person for four years um also something very significant you could be an april four april tours that this very much resonates with doesn't have to be the case just putting that out there but you know twos are talking about needing to balance something needing to uh, uh make a decision because two is, is one you know you have more than one option two of wands talks about Choosing a faded destination that you're going to go in. You got it in reverse. Two of Swords talks about needing to make a decision also. It's a mental thing in reverse. So it's like some of you guys are not seeing something clearly. I'm going to tell you that. Literally, this is your fourth card where someone was blindfolded. Um, blindfolded and this applies to both men and women. Someone doesn't want to end something because they don't want to deal with heartbreak. Hmm. Also, if you're separated from someone... This person doesn't know what to do about the separation, or you don't. Somebody doesn't know what to do. They're trying to hang on, trying to re reignite the spark of passion also for some of you guys. Look at that, five of cups. That's what I said. Somebody don't want to go through heartbreak. You just had the three of swords in reverse, and he's looking at the three of cups that spilt over. And then right there, you had a two of cups behind him. So it's like, I feel like regardless of what happened, whatever ending, because some of you guys could definitely be separated from your person. You see how the cups are right on his heels. Like you're deciding, like, no, we belong together. I'm gonna be with you. You're gonna be with me. Let's let's hang in there. Literally, the hangman major arcana. So that's a definite. That's gonna clarify for the hangman for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus individuals. Okay, and look, you guys seen it. It flipped up again in reverse. Working, establishing. See, that's the thing. 
there's pentacles falling, like being released. And then you have the three of pentacles in reverse. At first you had a right. So I definitely feel like they're saying like something needs to end. Some type of contract needs to come to an end. You see what I'm saying? That's a contract right there. Now that's for some people. For others, it could be like there was a breakup already with you and this, and this person. And this person may be coming back into your reality. Strong fire sign person. They may be coming back into your reality saying that, that you guys belong together and they want to work things out. Bottom of the deck, yep, somebody's coming back. <laughs> six of Cups. With the Six of Cups, this is always somebody that you got history with. Now, I'm going to say, because you had Three of Pentacles in reverse, and you do have one, two, three people here, it could have, something could have ended because of a third party. I know that's a typical thing with tarot, but I, I don't pull the cards, you know? I never pull cards. That's, that's what we're getting here. So, yeah, somebody that you have history with could be trying to come back and reconcile with you. Let's get a clarifier for the Ace of Wands. Clarify for the Ace of Wands. For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, individuals. Okay. Yep, yep. Ooh, yep. Then I say a fire sign, and then look what you got. Holy moly. Look at this. You got, the three, you got three of Pentacles and the Three of Cups in reverse. Let me tell y'all something. And then you got the King of Wands. So some of you guys got someone with strong fire coming back into your life. Also, because you got all these threes, it could be an Aries. That's, and I remember I mentioned that earlier. I feel like Aries season starts in March. Aries season is March, April. You got two threes here, and then you have a king of wands. So some of you guys have somebody coming back towards you or trying to come back towards you in Aries season, or they can be an Aries. This person possibly put you in a third-party situation. I was, I was literally just saying, anytime I see that red energy, it makes me think about Aries. I know all the fire signs got that, that fiery energy, but I always think about Aries specifically. And then with these threes, yeah. Also, something very significant could have happened last year, okay, as the year wrapped up, because you got three and three here. Three plus three is six, and we were in a six universal year last year. So I feel like something happened. I, I, I'm, I'm, you know, I hate to say it, but I am getting third party. Both of your cards are threes in reverse. Uh, right, there's celebrations, happiness, coming together, unions with friends, things that you're joyful about in reverse. It's like finding out, first of all, you can see these two people's faces. You can't see hers. So this could definitely be finding out about a third party. And this person was avoidant of the topic. You see how his body is not looking towards us. It's not facing us. This also could be someone who's looking outside of the situation. Again, he's not facing us. You see how that hand is coming directly at us, you know? So it's kind of making me feel like this was someone who was avoidant. Okay, and I want you to see how the cards is. Somebody is, is coming back towards you because they missed the sexual intimacy, okay? You see he's holding that wine. And he's going towards that. It's like when this person comes back immediately, that's what they're going to be on with you. Not to say they don't love you, but immediately they, they miss the sexual encounters. They miss that. Even if this wasn't a relationship and it was like a friends with benefits or a situationship, I, I feel like somebody's going to try to come back. This may have been because I'm hearing a song now as I'm talking, we belong together. This could have been someone that you felt like you could definitely be with long term, but this person had other motive. You know what I mean? Like this person was keeping their options open. Even if it wasn't a third party, this person was keeping their options open is what I'm getting also. And you realize you have to release this person or some of you guys currently may need to release someone. In other cases, and, and I just want you guys to look at this. In other cases, yes, this person has, there could have been some type of breakup. And this person's realizing like, yeah, you, I, I'd rather be with you. I fucked up here and I want to come back towards you. But it's like the way they're coming back at you, it just seems like more so sexual stuff. You know, that's really what I'm getting here. But I feel like somebody is realizing, somebody's realizing now that, Nobody else compares to the connection that they have with you, especially sexually. I'm just going to be real with you. If you've been single for a long period of time, okay, that's that's a different scenario. This may not be your story, but I'm telling you right now, some of you guys got somebody coming back towards you. Either an Aries person, Aries sun sign, or an Aries season, specifically in March. And then, like I said, for others, it's somebody, if you're dealing with this person now, this is a topic that you're going to have to deal with. Like, you may feel like you want to be with this person long term, but this person is like... They may be keeping their options open. I'm just going to be honest and say that also. Could be dealing with water sign, can't spice is Scorpio, or earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Of course, you are Taurus. So some of you guys may have felt like, I can't work with this person. This is working and building together. I got to let them go. I got to turn them loose. I'm getting that also. Okay? So Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.